Dare I speak the unspeakable? The, what is the military purpose of the drive into Kursk? Well, it could simply be a distraction and the real offensive is going to take place elsewhere. And the next major offensive is already in the pipeline. And, uh, and I think one should look down to the south, to Crimea, which Russia has been holding since 2014 and which has strategic and symbolic importance, which Putin grabbed. And retaking Crimea would be a substantial victory for Ukraine, potentially shifting the broader geopolitical dynamics of the region. Its location in the Black Sea provides Russia with a critical naval base in Sevastopol and control over key maritime routes, its history, and going all the way back to the Crimean War in the 1850s. Uh, its role controlling the Black Sea as much as the role of the Bosphorus controlling the Black Sea and therefore the role of Turkey. Uh, this provides Russia with a deep sea port for its nuclear fleet. The peninsula serves as a major military hub for Russia with significant air, naval and missile capabilities and any Ukrainian attempt to retake, uh, any U Ukrainian attempt to retake Crimea would need to overcome substantial Russian defences including layered anti-aircraft systems and fortifications. Um, but it is an important goal and the, the, the distance between the Kursk region and Crimea is so significant as to be something that shouldn't be underestimated. And the potential scenarios of a gradual pressure through long-range strikes, sabotage, small-scale operations to weaken the Russian forces in Crimea gradually. Well, actually, that's already taken place. Targeting key infrastructure, military bases, supply lines. A direct military offensive? Well, again, uh, the, the, the advances of Ukraine in the south are hampered by the build-up of Russian forces. The fire at the Zaporizhia nuclear plant blamed by Ukraine on Russian sabotage to try again to distract from the inevitable. If I can see this as a, as a route forward, um, the people in the Kremlin can surely do the same. And they have a choice to make. Are they going to move forces from the south to defend Kursk? Or are they going to uh, continue to deploy forces in the south to defend Crimea? That's the choice. That's the choice. Um, and whichever decision the Kremlin makes, I suspect, will be wrong. And I'm sure at the same time there are diplomatic and hybrid approaches um, with an attempt to, to isolate Crimea, to force vul uh, Russia into, more, into a more vulnerable position. Uh, this would include cyber operations, information campaigns, uh, the efforts to cut off Crimea's economic lifelines, um, the destruction of the bridge, uh, which has already proven to be vulnerable. And I think the situation remains fluid. As I say, the biggest distraction that Russian can possibly create now is to admit that Putin is dead.